has started. I guess we'll join the Autumn Marathon. Play some games, have some fun. Trying not too hard to stress over it. Uh, 5-0. Well, that's two more minutes than 3-0. How many games do you think are going to pass before I win a game? That is, how many games do you think I'm going to lose in a row here? I'm thinking I'm going to lose my first game. I might lose the second game, but I should win the third one. That's my guess. But I don't think this, in general, I've joined uh, arenas a half hour into them before. This is my first time late joining by one half hour. I'm usually waiting until like 23 hours have elapsed, and then I join the tournament and try to pick up some rating points just for fun. Um, oh wait, the fact that I just lost some games in that other tournament might make it such that I get an easier pairing here. And if I got an easy first round pairing, maybe I've got some chances after all. But usually these guys in the marathon are out for blood, and it's extremely difficult to defeat them. So, I don't know. Um, I mean, that's aggressive, sure. I don't know that that works. There are more accurate ways to play this opening. I'll put it that way. Uh, c6 does blunt my bishop here. Um, how the heck do you play this thing again? I don't remember. I assume this is playable, and if h6 we take on f6. Oh my goodness, really? Are we really doing that? Um, okay. That's... Queen b6 is very much not where you want to put the queen in this opening. Or b6 is not where you want to put the queen. Um, maybe there are lines involving queen b6, but usually black is trying to attack on the king's side and white's trying to attack on the queen's side. I guess here I've completely fumbled my attack, so I guess we're both confused. But um, I don't think the way this confusion has panned out profits the opponent any. Um... Alright, so I attack this. They're probably going to just push it to e4. And I don't know where I'm going next. I do know that probably I'm going to lose, and I'm probably going to not lose on time. Those are my two thoughts here. Um... Uh, sure, let's try to exchange these bishops. Despite arguing with the opponent that their bishop sucks, we might try to exchange this anyway, because I don't really believe my own argument. I might also play knight h4. Um, but, yeah, I need to not lose control of the e3 square. I've completely forgotten that b2 is a thing. So yeah, as predicted, and as is my tradition, apparently I'm going to lose game one. Uh, Alright, well, that was fun. Got to start off the marathon with a bang. Um, I don't know, man. My bishop sucks, the c-pawn blocks it, so I'll try to stir something up here. Uh-huh. Okay, still stirring, still there's nothing. 
queen g4 is a fork. And I am completely dead. This is not a Swiss tournament, so it's like in my interest to resign this and get it over with. Uh, if this were a Swiss, I would have every motivation to play it out to the bitter end. But since it's an arena tournament, I should, in theory, resign this and just set up the pieces for the next game. Not only that, but I should get an easier pairing the second round than the first round. But I'm stubborn. I'm not going to throw the game so easily. And the fact that there's no increment does cast a little bit of doubt on the result. But it's basically zero doubt. But it's not zero. It's almost zero, but not quite. So we'll try. We'll try really hard to not completely F this up. But it's probably too late. Um, sure, that looks fun. I'm not prone to a fork here because the rook's in the way. Um, that's a fork of some sort. Uh, the sort of fork it is is one that doesn't do anything. But it is a fork. So, yep. I'm going to keep fighting for no reason. And try to activate the rook and pray for a miracle. Uh, maybe rook h1 would have been good. No, just kidding. All right. So we hit the A-pawn again. Uh, that's weird. Unless there's some tactic I've completely missed. This is simply giving me a free move. That's the tactic I missed. All right. Point taken. Um, this doesn't work, but let's pretend it does. <laughs> nice. Well spotted, sir. There, okay, yeah, I'm not going to fight this out. You win this game. Well played. Uh, yep. As is my tradition, I lose the first game of the arena. Now, I mentioned I expected to lose the first game and the second game, and then win the third one. Do we think I have any chances on game three? But yeah, now in these tournaments, the first round pairing, I don't know. For whatever reason, for me, it seems to suck a lot. And maybe I'm just biased or something. But no, I like always lose round one. And I think it's just a function of the rating distribution of the website. Um and just not having particular kinds of opponents uh, available for everybody, so. Uh, do I like Zen Mode more? I think so. Because then when I lose my games, I'm like, well, it's just the fate of the rating system. You know, ratings would have predicted my loss, so we'll just say that, you know, I did my best. But I don't have to actually know the specifics of how badly I played or how low my opponent's rating was. Also, sometimes, on rare occasions, I do end up winning a game against a really high-rated opponent. And as No Joke pointed out once on his live stream, that's kind of like a loot box or a, a loot crate or whatever. It's like, oh goodness, look at this. The 
game is a draw or a victory. Let's find out what we've won. Uh, although I don't actually ever find out, so takes half the fun out of it, I guess. Oh, never mind. We'll take that. But yeah, it's less stressful playing with Zen Mode on, I think. A lot of players get upset about um, expectations about winning or losing, being thwarted um, by the fact that opponents like don't always play at exactly the same strength. Um, sometimes opponents play better, sometimes they play worse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, buddy. Buddy. We're gonna have some fun. Pawn takes pawn, please. Oh, no? Really? How do you play this thing? <laughs> I have no idea how to play this. I just know this is a thing. Oh man. Uh bishop h4. There we go. Uh that looks safe ish. All right. Uh fuck. I have no idea how to play this. And it probably doesn't even matter because this position is just so ridiculous. Um No. Maybe. <laughs> oh, this looks fun. This is the meme. This is the content we all wanted. All right, I've given a bishop for two pawns, and everything is hanging. Bishop's hanging, the knight's hanging, the rook's hanging, the king's loose. I, there's stuff going on in this position. The great part is, you know, it's just an online blitz game. If we win it, you know, that's fine. If we lose it, eh, there wasn't much at stake anyway. But, um... Yeah, this is so silly. Ah, uh, how do I win this? I just... I don't know, man. This can't possibly be book. See, and the fun part here is I get to make the opponent think about my absolutely ridiculous things that'll never show up ever in their game records again. But for this one brief moment, um, this is their problem and not mine. All right, there's the mate threat. Uh, I guess they're going to play bishop b7 and I castle unless I play h3. <sighs> so... Um, if I castle, this looks fine. They take my pawn. I don't care. This looks... Yeah, so my big idea was to play knight e4. Um, like, hangs a knight here for no reason. But that was my big idea. Um... Yeah, I just... this is such a wonky position. I don't know what to say about it. Um, I guess... Oh, okay. I mean, it's... Yeah, I just... Oh, this pawn is actually kind of defended, isn't it? All right, we'll spook the knight away then. If it takes here, I think I can get away with that. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the bishop was defending this fork. But yeah, this seems way more fun to be on the attacking side of, just making up random nonsense and hoping that there's a shot than being the defensive player who has to find all the tactics, all the miracles to hold it all together. So... Yeah, this is exciting, isn't it? Ah, uh, goodness. So, like, do I do knight takes b7 double check next? King e8? I don't know. No, I think I do rook takes b7, bishop d6. Ah, oh, feels like there should be a mate here. But there's not. Um, I guess we'll just take this. So I've recovered my piece, and now I'm just two pawns up. That's all this amounts to. And it's just a two pawn advantage. But the journey, the journey was fun. Um, yeah, if the knight moves, we all, in many cases, the knight gets pinned or won or whatever. Um, I guess we'll take that. And remove this pawn. Obviously, the opponent wants to play g3 and checkmate with the rook on my back rank. So I should watch out for that. Um, oh yeah, but I have knight d5 now that this pawn's removed. So. Okay. This is the part where they're hoping for a miracle. Um... I should be a bit cautious. Okay, so we're protecting against rook takes a2, right? Rook takes a2 is like the one way I can lose this game. Let the rook invade and check me at me while I'm not looking. Um, yep. But as long as I pay attention for that, I should be okay. So I'm threatening knight b6. Maybe if I'd went to b5, I'd have other threats too. Um, so that's check. Let's check. I miscalculated this. All right, that's kind of impressive just how bad that miscalculation was. Whatever, we'll take it. Oh dear. Well, we're on a winning streak now. We've got to keep going. How many games are we going to win? I don't know. But yeah, after we've won some games, I guess we'll wrap it up. Um... There it is, the not a London defense, or do they even call this the London defense? I don't know. I do not know. There we are, playing our very familiar pawn formation that, you know, I would condemn except for the fact that this is Blitz, and I have no increment. So I'm okay just playing whatever comes to mind. Um, we're gonna make that loose. 
Well, actually, I'm not even hanging the pawn. I thought I was hanging it. Apparently not. Um... <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I trapped my knight. Uh, hang on. Now we gotta rescue the knight. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Maybe the knight can go to b5. Well, this is what I saw. I missed queen e1 trapping the knight, but um, I saw this. This looked okay. Uh, but I was a bit more concerned about other moves. So, yeah. Since this knight is blocking the d-file, I'm fine with allowing exchanges to happen this way. I guess next I play rook a d8. There we go. And I have to bring my knight back into the game somehow. Let's do this fork. And the opponent will try to gain the initiative while I keep trying to liquidate everything because I'm up one pawn. Um, yep. So... Let's see. That looks safe. He said sarcastically. Um, there we go. We've tripled on the D file. Oh, wow. Read it stuff. Yep, and then we just defend. And suck out our opponent's will to continue playing. And then win the game. So this is the War of Attrition. As long as we stop their plan, everything's fine. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll block this file. They're going to play Rook 8 anyway. Uh, maybe I play king g7, just to keep my king away from the center. Yeah, if I'd played the other rook back to d7, this would have been easier. Um, they're playing well. They're not giving up just yet. Uh, I guess we'll take this pawn. They're trying to give a perpetual check, although I control most of the squares around my king. So this seems like an effort in vain, but they're welcome to try. Um. Oh, do I exchange rooks for the queen? Or the queen for two rooks, rather, if they play rook d1? I think so. If I exchange there, they get a perpetual, so we don't uh you know there's jonathan rosen our owson wrote in his book the seven deadly chess sins um something about wanting and how even titled players even top grandmasters can be lulled into well i don't want to draw therefore i'm going to take whatever the alternative is and that's what we're witnessing here, is me not wanting a draw. So, um, I haven't really deeply looked at this, and probably should have, but I think I luck out. That's guarded by my queen, so if this queen moves, king g3 is checkmate. Just kidding, that's not actually checkmate. Um, I guess we'll start with that. And then take the queen. Alright. So. That was close. It looks like it's going to be king g5 checkmate. Or something like that. They're ruining all my picturesque stuff. You know. Why don't opponents let you get the cool looking mates? Thanks for the game. 
Yeah, I got lucky. It was closer than it looked. Here, let's play this. Alright. I don't know why I decided to play this gambit, but the opponent didn't want it. I'm quite okay with that. Um, sure. Let's take the pawn. Let's try to hold the pawn. What defends this? Okay. We are trying very hard to hold on to the pawn. <laughs> I might give back the pawn in some circumstance, but not this one. Um, sure, let's just use this piece. Oh, I guess they have pawn a5. That's kind of typical. Uh, shit, I forget how this goes. I completely space out and forget how this works. I think this is okay? I don't know. Maybe I should have moved my other knight first or something. Um... Now we're going to try to play... Oh, well, I walked right into this, didn't I? Ah, I saw that, and I did nothing about it. Genius. All right, so... Knight f4. Uh, goodness, I don't know. My king is perfectly safe with this whole... Look at all these holes there. All right, uh, let's take en passant. And they take back, I get to take again. And I've won pawn number two. Okay. Let's try to win pawn number three. Which one's pawn number three? I don't know. Um, let's check the king because checking is fun. That's also a check. That's really what I was after was this check. Um, yeah, this looks too fun to pass up. So what do we do now? Okay. Well, I think this position is better for me on account of having three runaway pawns that they have no way of defending against. And I have control of the long diagonal that this rook is going to need to block my pawn. I guess we'll take a rook while we're at it. And that's the game. Oh, they keep playing. Never mind. Um, back we go, rook b8, a5, no, actually this doesn't win. Be nice if rook b8 could be answered by a5, a6, it's not quite so simple. All right. I think my opponent might be upset about something. Can't imagine what. Well, this is the other downside of playing 5 minute instead of 3 plus 2. Is that you'll meet some opponents that will want to play it out. 
uh, no matter how long it takes. Some might say the longer the better. Got mate in one, next move. Thanks for the game. It'd be interesting if you could just play the mate in one move, walk away from the board, and wait for your next pairing. That would be funny. But then the interface might be cluing you in that you have a checkmate. But you'd have pre-moved it, right? But yeah, they you'd need some like reliable declare mate button. And I don't know. Players, I think back in the 19th century, used to announce checkmate against their opponent. I don't know why. Why wouldn't you just play the moves? Uh, why do you have to announce it? Unless it's some cool parlor trick and it impresses all your friends or something, but I don't get it. Oh, this stops 94. It's kind of cute. All right. Um, you know I had to play this. <laughs> I bluffed him? Why? Why did he believe my bluff? It wasn't even a good bluff. Like, they could take this. That would have... It's pretty easy to calculate. If you just take, like, five seconds to look at it. Um... Instead, here, they got this wonderful bishop marooned in the middle of no man's land. All right. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to apply more pressure here. Um, I guess deny knight b4. All right, we'll take a pawn. Yeah, this game is pretty special. Um, so the knight here was defending the a7 pawn, so we'll take that too. Not that I necessarily need a pawn, but I just need an idea. All right, I'll try to play Rook E1 soon. But yeah, my position is abysmal, even considering my material edge. Like, the position itself is nothing impressive. And I should be willing to give some material back just to have my position suck a bit less. Um, so you can have this pawn, or not, um, sure, <sighs> you can have that pawn, but you're probably not going to end up keeping it, mm -hmm. I'll just use my knight. So I'm threatening this, I don't know what else I'm threatening. I don't much care, as long as I win the game. I don't really care what the threats are. Um, hmm. uh, let's go back. <laughs> this continues covering the c5 square. I think they really want the c5 square and they want me to move my bishop away. And I just keep refusing to do so, just to spite them. Um, so I forgot they have h6. Um, yeah, that means in turn I have to go here. Mm -hmm. So... I guess I'll move my knight back out through f2. I continue protecting this square and saying, like, that's obviously my square. 
but they have like 63 other squares that knight could consider. And so now that it's finally moving away, I can like debate shoveling my pieces some other way. All right, do you want to give me the knight? Thank you. Uh, the knight was protecting the bishop. I just had a thought that maybe I should have taken the bishop. Uh, it didn't even cross my mind that I might want the bishop, but in retrospect, it was not mine for the taking anyway. And thankfully, it didn't matter. Um, so here, the bishop's going to move, and I get to play d5, and I get to take this pawn. Or the bishop doesn't move, and stuff gets exchanged. Oh, okay. Stuff happens one way or the other, and I'm none the worse for whatever happens here. Um, so they're going to play rook gb8, and then I play rook e7. And if they try to hold on to this pawn, um, like king d6, rook 5, e6, checkmate. If they play king c6, uh, there's other tactics. But yeah, after rook gb8, I think rook e7 wins in all lines. Pretty comfortably. So, yep, that's a check. And then we'll just push the edge pawn. Or the rook pawn, as we call it in chess. In shogi, they talk about it being, the, oh, the edge pawn. I stopped paying attention and I gave away my pawn. See, this is what happens when I talk about shogi. Um, if they play, oh, never mind, we'll take the free pawn. I was remarking how if they play rook a1, I was considering bringing my rook back to the h-file to deal with it, but not until then. But regardless, oh wow, I'm in the top 500. Obviously the marathon's just starting. Obviously I'm not going to be able to retain this rank, but I'm on kind of a winning streak. So that's unusual. What did I do to deserve a winning streak? Does everybody just like hate five minute? Is that what's up? Or like, how is it that I keep getting pairings and not getting absolutely smashed? When's the smash gonna happen? Is this the smash round? Or is it next round or the round after? Yeah, I started the tournament with a loss. But I've had a lot of wins since then, and I expected to lose. Usually the competition is extremely fierce. Okay, yeah, this is... These are signs that my position's creaking and breaking in half and all this stuff. Um, I have to pin this, otherwise I lose the pawn for nil. Here, um, yeah, I don't know. I do not know. Um, I'm going to bet that they don't play g4. They're probably going to play g4, but I'm going to bet against it. We'll see if they play it. Nope, they didn't play it yet. Uh, no g4 this turn either. Um, now this is really, really silly. Uh, unless I've missed something. Oh, knight d4 doesn't save this. Yeah, knight d4 doesn't actually change this in any serious way. Um, hmm. Well, tactics. Tactics, tactics everywhere. 
I have to hit this without losing my knight on d5. After this gets sorted out, then we can figure out what happens next. Um. Hmm. All right, I'm going to offer this. And then we exchange on d4. It just dawned on me this is hanging. Uh, so since that's hanging, I have to try something like this. But, uh, oh. What the hell? They're mixing good and bad moves. That's really weird. So many good moves, so many bad moves. Where's the game that I'm just supposed to outright lose? That's not happened yet. Other than round one. Round one I got smashed. But this it looks like I'm hanging in there. Which is even worse than just getting smashed. Like if you get checkmated right out of the opening. Or super early in the game then, like, you're able to go play the next round and not worry about it. But if you get this sort of inferior middle game that turns into an inferior end game and have to defend it for five minutes, that's the worst case scenario. Um, so... All right, let's try this. This is loose, that's loose, this is loose. Back we go. Knight c5 would be hilarious. Well, knight c5 and then they could actually take on d5. So I don't, like, instantly win there or anything. It's funny to imagine, though, like, this hanging and then that pin somehow profiting me. Um, Alright, so I'm going to just hang all my pawns in the middle of the board and see if my opponent can pick them up or not. Um, meanwhile, if I could somehow cover the h2 square, that would be great. Um... Hmm. Oh wait, I can't take that, can I? Nah, let's try it. <laughs> Queen takes e5, rook takes bishop. Looks interesting. And I guess by interesting I also mean wildly unsound. Yeah, but nope. No tactics today. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I don't know what to do here. Hmm. Yeah, my position is extremely dangerous to me. I have time to think about it. So... Ah, that looks fun. Let's try it. How bad can it be? <laughs> What's this? I'm just giving up a rook for nothing. Or for a bishop. Just, you know, because it looks fun. Sometimes you have to play the fun-looking moves. Um... Yeah, no, I'm just so dead here. Um, I guess we'll defend this. We've got emotional compensation. This is my target. Hmm. Threatening knight d7. 
and cutting off my queen and doing everything that they should be doing. I guess I have to respond in kind. Yeah. It's true, though, isn't it? Like, that's all we've got here. Got more than a feeling. That's all it is. All right, I forgot my queen can't go to a4 here. We're going to go back. All right, whatever. Let's see this through. Am I going to win this on time? Is that the plan? Is the dirty flag? I guess that's the plan. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Maybe this, probably not. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, this is the greatest game ever. Thanks for the game. Dirty flag happens. Sorry, Gary504. Better luck next game. But yeah, that's Blitz in a nutshell. That's five minute, zero increment at its finest. It's not great. Alright, I got them to play knight e4 here, which means they can try to support the knight or they can just run away. Uh, if they run away, I've gained half of a move. So hooray. Um... Let's see. Oh, wait a second. This is a pin. How do you play this? I guess I hit the bishop first. And then try to make something of this tactic. It's nothing. You know what? Forget it. This pin isn't going to be anything. Never was, never will be. Uh, that pin, though, looks kind of interesting against my rook. So maybe I should pay some attention to what they're doing. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Step out of this. I'm getting pushed around pretty heavily. So, uh, means that I'm not the rating favorite. Or... Alternatively, it means this, just that I'm an idiot. Um, time will tell. So, yeah. Uh... 
Uh, what else do we have to talk about today? I don't know. Um, so the opponent has three pieces tripled on this. I'll just go defend it. I guess they could play pawn d5, but I don't think that wins this. I think I would just take that and this backfires. So they see that too. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I guess we'll play this. Oh no, never mind. This is kind of a problem. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. It'd be nice to play this and that, but uh, my queen is not in a great spot. Um, so maybe I play queen a4. Threatens to hit this. They defend. I don't know. This looks so sketchy. I've abandoned the center. Um, and my king is not doing much better than my center. Hmm. Hmm. This is so, 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 so bad. Uh, let's try to activate the rook. And they'll play pawn d5, and there's really nothing I can do. Um, I mean, I guess there's this. Maybe there's that. I don't know. Um... But this knight on f5, beautiful as it is, doesn't really do anything. Um, this looks safe. Let's do that. This entirely safe and not completely ridiculous move. I mean, I'm kind of forced to do it, so we did it. Um, I don't know what it did. It looked cool. Uh, if I bring the queen out, I lose my knight on f5. Well, not exactly. I get to play this first. And surprisingly to me, they took my knight. Um, I didn't expect them to take that. Because my queen was hanging, right? So, anyway, I'm still down a pawn with emotional compensation. Um, I guess I have all my pawns on the dark squares, so there's that. Uh, they'll play pawn e4 here. I'll try to break this up. Oh, shit. Uh, that's no good. Yep. Well spotted. Uh, maybe I needed to play rook d8 there. Instead of rook d1. I was afraid of rook d... Well, okay, whatever. My hand's kind of forced now. Um, sure. Why not? You got nothing to lose here. Everything's already lost. So. Uh, queen c1, bishop f1, but then what? I've actually somehow orchestrated a threat. That's not in completely trivial. Um, 
Let me take the pawn. If they play bishop c4, I've got this check. So we've made this at least a little bit confusing. Um, I guess I'll try to defend this. Oh, they can take here, can't they? Yeah, that's somewhere between atrocious and... I don't know. I'm out of words. Um... Oh, welcome. Howdy. we got here what have we got here oh man what a mess both of us are trying to set traps for the opponent <laughs> nicely done all right well I mentioned, oh, we got a raid, welcome, sorry. Welcome, XR Typo, and party of 15. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, so he does word games. Uh, definitely check out his live stream. Um, although party of 15 are probably quite familiar with what he does. Um, interesting so yeah this is the 24 hour 2022 autumn marathon and you know i resolved that i was going to keep playing games until i lost a game after losing the first game and i've done this on some occasions and you know i was gonna go wrap it up and stuff but you know we have an audience now so Gotta pander to the crowd. They cry for blood. Well, I can I can make blood, I guess. Somehow. <sighs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Safe travels. Hopefully, all goes well. Um, I guess once you're back, I can wrap up because I'm gonna get smashed at this game. It's chess is hard. Um, why did I do that in not King G7? I don't know, it matters. Maybe this is better. I don't know. But yeah, let's see when you get back. So, how many of you guys remember how the horsey moves? I think it moves in a Y shape, right? Like that. Alright, so... I'm going to try not to get checkmated here. Uh, oh... Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Uh, it's going to take a lot of trying to not get mated here. Uh, let's see if I can survive this. Oh, okay. They've gotten three pawns for a piece. Oh, this is... this is a disaster. Um, there's... Recovery from this is going to be very difficult. Um, but if I play super actively, maybe I don't die. <laughs> uh, why? 
All right. So, just so y'all know, it's all Josh's fault that I'm going to continue playing this. I totally would have thrown in the towel. Um, and yeah. That's fine. I mean, I can't play word games. We know I'm better at chess than I am at word games. And yeah, tonight I might not be very good at either one. Because we're playing in the marathon against the best players in the world who happen to be online for the marathon. So... Players tend to take this event pretty seriously for some reason. I tend to just sack pieces left and right to see what happens, but other players definitely care about trying super hard to win. In the early days of the Lee Chess Marathons, so many years ago, um, I would just play it and just be a normal event. No. Except that there's no way I'm going to get first. And once I'm accepting of that, um, then, I don't know, try to find something productive to do throughout the tournament. Alright, this is going to suck. I had to take the bishop here, you know, assuming that they're not going to just throw away the rook. I'm going to have to exchange rooks, which is also going to suck. But... There's at least some dismal hope somewhere in this that I don't even know how. <sighs> There's got to be some chances here somewhere. Um, this is so bad. But if I didn't exchange the knight for the bishop, then there'd just be absolutely nothing. As opposed to here, there's mostly nothing. So here, I guess if I can exchange enough things, there might be some chances. Okay. Here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Incidentally, um... Hmm. That's not supposed to happen this way. Uh, apparently I stumbled into something here. So, yeah, we're giving the opponent something to think about. This is a bit ridiculous. But if they take this pawn, I don't think they have time to stop my pawn promotion. E5, A3, yeah, I don't think it works out that way, so they have to stop it this way. Um, and then this is just... This is just raw endgame calculation. There's no skill here. It's just, can you calculate everything? Or there's no knowledge here, it's just... All calculation. Um, that was... I'm going to have to bookmark this game as being one of my most ridiculous games ever. Um, Rook h3, king moves, takes, takes, there, king c3. Doesn't quite cut it. Instead, we're going to play bishop b5, and if the rook dashes away from the a-file, then I can play rook a8. Rook b5, that, that, that doesn't quite cut it either. Um, hmm. Oh, I could play rook b8 here. It's legal. A3 takes A2. Work A5. Ah, none of the tactics quite work out. Um, 
I guess back we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what an extremely goofy endgame. Um, okay, we'll take this pawn. And then this pawn. Good observation. Uh, shit. What do I do? This is a hard decision. Uh, I think king g8, probably. Oh, I missed that. Okay, well that completely changes all of this. Oh, that's so delightful. You know, I was playing a decent endgame out of a completely losing opening. Maybe almost found some chances. And then threw it all back. It's that sort of game for both of us. Um, so... Can we calculate in time pressure? I think the answer is a pretty resounding no. Um, okay. Correct. Yeah, that's a very good point. Um, Thanks for the game. Oh, man. I can't... That was such a bad game. I know I said I was going to bookmark it, but looking back on that, was that really what we wanted to see? Oops, let's not move the king this turn. All right. That's a target. Oh, I can take the pawn, they say. Well, that's a pawn, so I like taking my pawns. I do enjoy capturing pawns. Look at me playing this entirely sound opening. And I'm definitely not going to lose in the next five moves. Entirely sound. Yep. And just have to keep up with the latest opening trends. No, but seriously, when is making up your own openings on the fly going to become a trend again? How long is it going to take until that 
becomes a thing. Um, all right, so I castle. I'm threatening this, and then that. I think that outweighs whatever they might be doing. All right, I could be mistaken. There we go. Let's take one of those. Uh, this looks too fun. Let's do it. <laughs> what sort of madman am I? Thought we forced the opponent to think this through. But yeah, I just gave up an exchange. And one that really doesn't profit me. Other than I get emotional compensation. Again. So, I mean, my bishop and queen coordinate well on this board. They're kind of beautiful. Um, but I don't know that it's anything decisive. It's just really messy to deal with. So, like, if they bring the rook up, this threatens mate. Um, and if they don't bring the rook up, this threatens mate. You know, it's good fun. So I guess I'm going to play rook c1, rook c7 next. Mm -hmm. So we got this and this and stuff, you know. Stuff and things are attacked. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's go here. So I'm threatening to take this. Maybe threatening to take this. Definitely I'm threatening both rooks. Oh, actually, be bishop takes... Well, I don't know. Bishop anywhere gives them lots of things to think about. So. That's good fun. They'll respond to this somehow, and then we'll move the bishop again. Uh, I guess back it goes. I don't know. Do we do this now? Cutting off the rook, threatening the other rook, threatening to take this. What's wrong with this picture? Is anything wrong? If they move this rook over to a bishop b7, maybe? Do I play pawn d5? I just don't know. That would block my bishop. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll take this. And then check. Check again. Oh, hang on, I'm being careless, in case that wasn't obvious. No, they missed a fork, but, um, yeah, like, h4 probably should have been played earlier. Here it doesn't matter. Uh, all right, we'll take one of these, too. Thanks for the game. I'd apologize for the cheapo, but eh, it splits. This is what we play for, isn't it? Look at all these people streaming. Where did all these people come from? I don't know. But yeah, I'm sitting on 24 points. But yeah, since we got raided by Josh, I couldn't just rage quit after losing. Um, I am curious... Uh, well, no, I'm wanting him to come back from the supermarkets and resume whatever it was he might have been live streaming. Uh, so that I can get the heck out of here with any semblance of dignity remaining. 
Um, all right, that's a pin. Pin to win. GG. All right. Um, now, but bishop takes, pawn takes, knight e2, bishop takes, pawn takes, pawn c5. It's quite advantageous for me. Um, at least I think it is. Yeah, their peace coordination... I think mine pieces are better coordinated than theirs here. That's my supposition. All right, so... Uh, I thought I had that covered in abundance. Maybe I missed something. Probably I should have played knight g8 earlier to make this easier to deal with, but... Well, yeah, no, I might be dead. That's funny. <sighs> okay, well, let's let's see whether or not I'm dead. <laughs> we have to test this out. Oh, well, okay then. I'm guessing queen g5. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, let's sack some stuff just for fun. This is not sound at all, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just got bored. Knight takes e4 looks kind of fun. It's not fun. Wait, no, knight takes e4 works. No, it drops this bishop. It's a burger and fries short of a Happy Meal. Um, I mean, other than that, it works beautifully. All right, so we'll just push this. They can win their exchange and take all my pieces. And it's fine. Uh, like, this game is lost. Oh, wow. Didn't see that. Uh, let's take this. Why not? Once you've already lost, what more is there to lose? Um, all right, we'll defend it this way. This is, yeah, it's all sad. I just don't have anything even remotely resemb- well, no. There's my thing that remotely resembles an attack. Let's try it. So we do this, and then they push a3, and then we push b4. That's the plan. It's subtle. I know, right? Um, but we had to try something. Oh, shit. I completely missed that. That's really funny. Um, yeah, so if I could get the knight over here, maybe? That's not at all completely wishful thinking. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. How do I further embarrass myself? Um... Sure. Let's do that. <sighs> uh, I just... Yeah, there's nothing here. Nothing but making the opponent think. But... Yeah, that's... I mean, the fact that there's a rook here is still on h1 instead of g1 is kind of a joke. 
they spent this time shuffling the rook around instead of going directly down the g-file. So... Yeah. I get it that like what they did is super safe and careful and cautious and whatever other modifiers you can put on that to say that it was the responsible thing to do. But... Um, Okay, I'm going to go defend my bishop so that my queen can move again. <sighs> I have no threats. Mm -hmm. I have no threats. Sure. That looks safe. <laughs> How much can I drag this out? Can I drag this out 1 minute and 34 seconds longer? If so, then maybe there's some point in dragging it out. So queen f7, and then rook g6 is the idea. All right, I defend my knight. <sighs> this really is going to be a dirty flag, isn't it? Oh, never mind. Never mind, our opponent's all over it. Um, our opponent has a clue. Hooray. So, yeah, my suffering will end soon enough. I mean, they missed queen g7. Well, no, queen g7 is not good. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, that was a fork. Thanks for the game. Good luck. All right, g4. Ha, never seen this before, have you? My patented eight pawns attack. Patent pending. Look at that. Look at all the pawns. What's my Rosen score? Um. Mm -hmm. Let's play this. All right, and then play H four. There we go. That's our thumbnail. I'm joking. Um, all right, so, yeah, this is a position, I guess, with pieces on squares. Um, maybe not my best position ever. What's mm -hmm. castle? Hmm. Oh, my rook's attacked. Let's move the rook. There, I can pay attention, like, one move deep. That's where I'm at. Um. Do you really believe that 12 people are watching me do this? Oops, that would hang my queen. Um... Hmm. Wars hanging. All right, we'll protect F4. All right. There goes my queen. That's a check. Um, 
That looks safe. That looks super safe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Sadly, I don't think I'm going to survive that. But can you imagine if I did? How great that would be. Only I could get a position like this. All right, so they're threatening move the knight and then queen f5 with mate. So I kind of have to come up with a good move here. Um, problem is I have no pieces and even fewer ideas. Uh, so there we go. Prevent queen f5, at least this turn. Okay. That's not checkmate. Oh no! Oh no! I'm so sorry. That was beautiful. Thanks for the game. All right. That's going in the database, you know. Um, somebody's going to run that game with an engine and see um, what mistakes are made. And that that game is going to make it into the Lee Chess database as something that got played in this marathon. Not only that, but I hope it makes it into the puzzle database in some way. Although I'm probably... There's probably some checkmate somewhere in there that we both missed. And I'm probably on the receiving end of it. But just the thought that somebody's going to look at that in the middle of a run of trying to solve lots of puzzles and be like, how did we even get this position? That's the funny bit. Um... Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Why did you play it this way? What are you doing? What's your point? Mm hmm. This is just ridiculous for why it... they're trying very hard to win this game. Um, and in so doing, get a, a position that doesn't make much sense. But it does avoid a draw. If you lose the game, then you don't draw it. But yeah, this position doesn't make a whole lot of sense for white here. Hmm. What do I do? I guess I exchange bishops here so that I could remove the damn knight. After bishops have been exchanged, I can play pawn f6, and my king is fine. And I have a lovely bishop. And eventually I could remove this damn knight, as I was saying. And then things are delightful. Um, so... Okay, we removed the knight. I missed this check. Maybe it's still fine. But this is not at all why it, what I had envisioned. Um, so, what I thought was excellent for me, maybe it was fine if I just, like, played knight d4 and blocked the check, but I don't think so. Um, well, hang on. 
There's a lot going on in this position. Um, if I get a passed pawn... Yeah, they have a protected passed pawn, but I have an outside passed pawn. I think it's playable. And if I'm wrong, I lose the game, but... You know, if I win, or if I am correct, I have some winning chances. Uh, do, 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 do. So... I mean, they're right that I have to play something like this to even attempt to win this. Um... Hmm... I have to exchange queens, otherwise I'm screwed. This offers some chances, but it's not great. Maybe I should have played d5 or earlier. Um, okay. What a freaking mess. So if pawn takes, knight takes. Um, hmm. Hmm, what an ungodly mess. This is extremely difficult to calculate. Um. All right, this knight on c7 is forever a target. So I'm going to move it away from c7. <laughs> yeah, let's do that move. That looks safe. All right. That looks too exciting to pass up. You know, having the knights in a blitz game. You gotta try some things. Um, there we go. Look, I planted a knight on d4. Um, maybe queen a8 was too impulsive. Maybe queen a5 was better. I don't know. Oh, wow. Well, I don't know why they chose that.
Thanks for the game. Hmm, I see. All right, should we play? Oh, I was going to say until the beginning of the next hour, but look, we're two hours into the event. Maybe we should consider wrapping things up here. Um. Might not be the worst idea ever. I would ask you, what do you say? But, you know, things are how they are. With It can be fun just listening and not necessarily chatting. Um, I'll take that. And hopefully there's a tactic here. Otherwise, I just look like an idiot. All right, so take this, take that. It looks like a tactic. It looks legit. All right, not this rook, this rook. All right, so now what? How the hell do we play this pawn imbalance endgame? Well, it's a sure good thing that we're members of the endgame church. Um, because it might take a miracle to win this one. Actually, do I pre do I pre move knight takes? Cause that, yeah, no. If I disconnect the pawns, this end game sucks. So we're gonna move the knight. Um. However, yeah, rook f two covers my pawn. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I saw this coming. I just didn't care. Probably I should have cared at least a little bit. Um, but whatever. It's just chess. It's just a game. If we win it, we win it. If we lose it, we lose it. So this knight's protecting this, but also attacking that. They're going to play pawn e4 at some inopportune moment. But rookie d1 lands first. Oh, wow. Well, this changes things pretty radically. Um, so now rook d1 no longer forces me to block with the rook. Therefore, my knight can take the square. Therefore, this is actually super unclear now. Um, hmm. Not sure what they're doing. Maybe they're trying to provoke me into hanging this somehow. I play king g3, rook d3, king h4, that's too, too ridiculous. I have to try to keep this position together a little bit. There's only so much nonsense I can get away with in one position. So, yep, then we're going to play knight f5. 
and this position just gradually improves. And I guess when you're up on the clock, it's easy for your opponent to blunder, but it's also easy to make mistakes when you're not thinking. So I shouldn't be blitzing stuff so quickly here. But I am. Uh, yeah, maybe we call this the last game. We're kind of spoiled for choice. Uh, there's a million people live streaming their games. So I'll have to pick somebody to watch next. It's probably going to be CL because he's the favorite with this crowd. But, you know, we'll figure it out. Um, all right, so king f3, e4, check, king f4, looks fun, king h3 is probably way safer, yeah, we'll just play king h3, hooray for cowardly moves, cowardly moves that work are pretty nice. Knight g6 would have been the gutsy move there, but I don't think it does anything. Knight g6 looks cool, threatens knight takes pawn in some way, but it's not effective. Now that the opponent's threatening this, now this is the moment to drop knight g6. And suddenly this is no longer defended, and this is cut off. So, yeah. Suddenly, knight g6 makes a whole lot more sense here. Um, let's see. I guess... Yeah, we're going to kick the knight. Uh, this discourages f5. If the knight moves, then... Um, f5 is no longer their top move. Knight f4 doesn't quite work because of this. Note if they take here, I can take the knight with check first. Um, so. Ah, uh, what to do? <sighs> this is annoying. <laughs> Having a slight advantage and knowing it's not enough is uh, taxing. Um, all right, so back we go. <laughs> Trying to win this guy. It's such a futile effort, but... Um, each time I make a threat, they have to respond in some way, so eventually maybe something might come of this. Oh, plus there's the whole time pressure thing, which is going to matter far more than the actual moves in just a second. There we go. We got a pawn. Hmm, I'll let them check me. But who's really leading who in that conversation? Oh yeah, yep. That's a fun command. So, we still have audience participation. I'll keep going for a bit longer then. So this will be the last, last game. Unless, like, people actually care. Um, so, oh. Well, I'm going to play this. Queen b3, queen c... Oh, okay. Well then. Um, sure. 
Was this what they had planned the whole time? I find that hard to believe. That's a free pawn. And after I take the free pawn, I'm threatening more stuff. It's not quite so simple. Uh, so, okay. We exchanged pieces back. And both have a bishop and a knight each. Um, so, next, I don't know. I'll do something. It'll be great. Um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of a cool pawn shape, but my pressure on this position is pretty amazing. Um, shit. Knight d5 looks awesome, but also it's extremely committal. Um, hmm. let's push a6. And then we'll push the knight to d5 or something. Once we're not losing this pawn. Um, there's the move. And I think I exchange one rook, but not both rooks. And I think this is what offers me the most chances. I think the bishop exchange is fine. I don't think it hurts me at all. Um, so we attack this. B4 needs to prop up the pawn. Or is necessary to support this pawn here. Oh, but then I can attack this from... Yeah, okay. Interesting. Um, this is kind of cool. Okay, I can't push this because of tactics. Um, hmm. It's going to be a difficult position for the opponent to hold because I control all the light squares and all the dark squares. Um... So the opponent maroons their bishop. Never to be heard from again. And I went a pawn. Maybe it's not so simple. Pawn up, pawn takes, pawn takes, king takes, pawn c6, bishop takes, pawn takes, rook takes. No, I think I got this. Pretty sure I've got this. Oh, well, there's that move. Uh, then I take here. But yeah, if they push the pawn, I think I take the bishop and take the rook and they promote and I get to take everything. Wait, king a6 was the move there. <laughs> I made things easier for them to defend, but they missed the defensive try. Um, Alright, so this cuts off their bishop. It's also very much not the move I should be playing. Uh, but yep, yeah, I've made room for my king. Hmm, what the hell am I doing? I don't know. Alright, my rook's useful. I could play pawn f5, one pawn holding two back, tends to be a useful pattern. But here, this pawn should move up without any resistance, so this it's not necessary for me to play f5, but in many positions, f5 would be useful. Here it doesn't happen to matter, but yeah, often it would. Uh, nope, can't move the king up. 
Uh, Nikes. This is so dicey. All right. So, yep. Saw that coming. Um. There we go. Still winning. Rook c2, rook c3. Anything else, I just push this pawn and keep pushing. So... I check. I block. And I'm just two pawns ahead here. So... There's just no resistance that can be offered. Um... Thanks for the game. Well, I guess we'll keep playing games until we lose one. Unless... Yeah. The plan is either we lose one... Oh, sorry. Either we keep winning, or... Uh, we keep getting audience participation in terms of, like, some kind of interaction. As long as there's some reason to keep going, we'll keep going. But probably I do want to wrap things up soon. I've been going too long here. Oh, good gravy. That's... I have to take this. And this is loose. Oh, the opponent doesn't want it, so we'll just run away. Oh my goodness. This is horrifying. <laughs> just this... How have I lost a position this badly? What have I done so wrong? Yep, it's not even close. Alright, we'll try to remove the bishop. Um, it's one fewer thing to worry about then. This is such a disaster. Sure. Um, okay. I seem to be getting extremely lucky in some of these games. Um, I don't think I did anything special to deserve it. Um, but yep, yeah, there's the rook trap. Um, so now we just use our pieces. Britain to exchange stuff, and oh, never mind. Uh, which way do I go? Both ways seem dangerous. This way seems safer, but I'm probably smoking something here. All right, so yeah, we're not gonna let them just chomp that for nothing. Uh, let's check. Then I get to pick this guy up. Oh no. Oh god. It's one of these pawn race things. The ones they put in all the textbooks. The ones that if you mess up, your position will be in a textbook someday. Great. This is just what we needed. So, knight e5 threatens this, but then I can take on f6. Uh, they could play c4, c5. Uh, I just don't know, man. How 
How do you play this? This is... I just don't know this one. Do I take this now? And then take that? And then... I'm losing here, aren't I? This is lost. Um, well played. All right, so we can finally wrap things up there. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Let's see who's going to be up next here. I don't see CL there. Let's hand it over to Chess Network. All right. Thanks for watching.